So we almost had another Lakin Riley. The community stepped in and did what they were supposed to do. And I know what you guys are thinking. Mm. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. What is going on everybody? Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I am Ty Smith. Listen, seriously, I really do thank each and every one of you guys for taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure you follow me on all the platforms you see listed above and below if you would, okay? Preach your deacon. Also, don't forget to click this right here so that my videos can continuously be circulated within the YouTube algorithm and also so that my content can consistently be recommended to you, the American people who are watching this right now. Woo! You guys already know that it's probably going to be some freaking fire on this one, don't you? I know y'all do because y'all know how I felt about what happened to Lake and Riley. Pissed me off to the max. I'm going to do some damage. Yeah. So, guys, we had another possible Lake and Riley that happened here, but thank God it didn't. And before I give my two cents, you guys know I got to give you all a clip. Check it out. But first to our Eric Sean and the brand new migrant arrest in New York City that the NYPD is talking about. Eric? Yes, yeah, so John, that news conference breaking just now. An illegal immigrant from Ecuador arrested, apprehended, under arrest, suspected of sexually assaulting, as you said, a teenage girl in a New York City park last week. A police source says this photo shows 25 year old Christian Giovanni Ingolandi being taken into custody after neighbors who recognized him from his wanted posters pounced on Landy. They held him until police arrived in the early hours this morning. Landy is accused of threatening two teens, a girl and a boy, both 13 years old, after pulling a machete style knife and then forcing them into a secluded area of the woods in a park in the New York City borough of Queens. That's where police say he used a shoelace to bound their hands together before Landy allegedly sexually assaulted the young girl. Despite the traumatic experience, the teens were able to describe this distinctive animal tattoo that you can see in the police sketch that they described to the police sketch artist. That tattoo seems to match the animal tattoo seen on Landy's chest. Authorities say Landy lives in a nearby men's shelter, and sources say he legally crossed the border near Eagle Pass, Texas, that busy spot, in 2021. Landy does have an arrest record, mainly for low-level offenses. Former NYPD detective and New York Republican Senate candidate Mike Scaparone is calling for a migrant crime task force. He says that's needed to focus on illegals. We're talking about people who have committed crimes, people are here illegally, we should be scrutinizing what they do. You're, you're right, we scrutinize mobsters, we scrutinize recidivist people, not enough. We need to start re scrutinizing the recidivists more and more and more, and we'll stop the crime. Well, Sapper Cohen and police are praising those teen victims for having the state of mind and the composure to uh, describe the different elements that they saw, that tattoo, and other details of this horrific crime to police. That suspect, again, right now in custody, has been processed. The uh, news conference ongoing about those details. John, back to you. All right, Eric Sean Force leading us off. Thank you, Eric. Sandra? And we're going to get right in for that now on the migrant arrested in the broad daily uh, assault of that 13 year old girl. This is the chief of the detectives on the ongoing investigation. Let's see if we can pick up some uh, more details from Joe Kenny here. Listen. District Attorney's Office. But the charges are going to be as follows. For a female victim, rape, sex abuse, robbery in the first degree, menacing, unlawful imprisonment, kidnapping, endangering the welfare of a child, and possession of a weapon. For the male victim, robbery in the first degree, menacing, criminal possession of a weapon, unlawful imprisonment, kidnapping, endangering the welfare of a child. I'd like to thank Chris Lapolis and all the special victims for their efforts in bringing this case to a successful conclusion. Thank you. So they're local residents from from right on that block there. Um, like I said, we through social media through the help with you guys, uh, that picture was out there. That sketch was plastered everywhere. Everybody knew who we were looking for. They like said we had. 
tips coming in actually naming the perpetrator. So they knew who he was. When they saw him out on the street, they tried to detain him. They called 911. He began to fight back as the community was trying to retain him, or ret sorry, retain him and uh, he suffered some minor injuries while the community was holding him. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Man, the community were trying to apprehend him. He was fighting back. Woo-wee! I know, y'all, I know. The instant daddy instincts of mine want to kick in and just say, boy, I would have. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But you got to keep it real. I know that most of our responses, especially somebody like me, is I want to be violent. Very, 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 very violent. Very violent. A 13-year-old girl. The community stepped in. He fought back. They were able to apprehend him. Now, I know y'all say they should have did this. They should have did that. I get it. What makes this hard is this. Unless you were there and caught him actually in the act of doing that, then yes, by all means. Y'all know I, somebody like me, I would have rained complete hell. Unrecognizable. I purposely would have ripped off ears, nose. If I had whatever, I would have had a utensil or something with me. He probably wouldn't have his Johnson at all if I would have caught him in the act in the park doing that. Officers, I don't know what happened. I was fighting. He tried to fight me. All I know is I was swinging and swinging, and I don't know how his penis came up missing. I don't know why his ear is gone, officer. I don't know why the front portion of his nose is gone. His bottom lip, well, while we were locked up like this to try to get him off of me, I bit his lip off. I don't know why his bottom lip is missing. Yes. And I know some of y'all are like, man, dude, in New York, you would have been the one. Uh, uh, not in this case. Not why witnessing this happened to this young girl. Yes. What makes this difficult is when he was identified amongst the community. Let's be real, y'all. I'm just telling y'all in the court system, it would have been like he said, she said. So that's why you guys probably didn't see or hear about him being severely beaten by the community. Although they identified this person, the girl out, the community, the people that were there identified him as being the one. That's probably why, because they probably could have caught charges because they didn't know yet. That's why we have the notion of innocent and to proven guilty. And although he is going to most likely be positively identified by the victim, once this all settles, whoever the people were in the community that did not do any crazy extensive bodily harm so that we know of, good on them. So I just wanted to put that out there because you guys already know how I feel about this. But the fact that he is illegal, crossing over to our state, feel entitled to do one of this to our American daughters, our American women, should say a lot to you guys about this current policies that are in place when it comes to asylum seekers at the southern border. Yep, I know y'all like, dude, you are talking really calm. I, yeah, I know. The last time I went off, got all crazy. I barely had a voice, so I'm trying to maintain from getting loud and snapping off about this. New York, we know how you guys are really petty on crime and you guys have sympathy for the devil. But once the girl comes in and positively identify that man, can y'all please let him out on bond? I dare y'all. If you do, he's probably going to be hidden for that border because if not... Y'all guess. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this by leaving in the comments below after this video. Do y'all are y'all think of what I'm thinking? If you are, let me see if you are thinking. Let me see if what I'm thinking. If you know what I'm thinking, let me see in the comment section. I'm just saying. Thank God she is okay. Thank God. She, well, no, she's not. I take that back. She's not okay. I mean, if he really sexually assaulted her like to the to this extent, she's not okay. I'm glad that she is alive. I won't be sad if he's not. That's all I'm saying. If they let him out and he ends up, I don't know. I won't be sad. Anyway, don't forget to leave this comments in the uh, in the video after this. I know I'm all over the place because I really want to go off. Click this right here so that my content can consistently be recommended to you, the American people. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. Most of all, I pray for the last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.